Seventh grade, unit six, lesson 21, illustrative mathematics, combining like terms, part two. Problem number one. Noah says that 9x minus 2x plus 4x is equivalent to 3x because the subtraction sign tells us to subtract everything that comes after 9x. Elena says that 9x minus 2x plus 4x is equivalent to 11x because the subtraction only applies to 2x. Do you agree with either of them? Explain your reasoning. I agree with Elena because 9x minus 2x plus 4x is the same thing as 9x and a negative 2x plus 4x. 9x minus 2x is 7x and 7x plus 4x is 11x. Since Elena is correct, I agree with Elena. Problem number two, identify the error in generating an expression equivalent to four plus two x minus half of 10 minus four x. Then correct the error. This says plus negative half of 10 and plus negative half of negative four x. Negative half of 10 is negative five because a negative times a positive is a negative and negative half of negative four x is a positive two x because a negative times a negative is a positive. We can rewrite plus negative five as minus five. So the expression now reads four plus two x minus five plus two x. They rewrote the expression as a negative one. Their error was that they subtracted five plus two x from four plus two x. That's a mistake because the five plus two x are not in parentheses. So this is just a minus five. So four minus five is negative one and two x plus two x is four x. So this is negative one and positive four x, which we can rewrite as four x minus one. Problem number three. Select all expressions that are equivalent to 5x minus 15 minus 20x plus 10. A, a negative times a positive is a negative and a negative times a positive is a negative. So we can rewrite this as 5x minus 15 minus 20x plus 10, which is equivalent to the original expression. B, 5x plus a negative 15 is the same thing as 5x and a negative 15 or 5x minus 15 plus a negative 20x. That's the same thing as and take away 20x or and minus 20x. Bring down the plus 10 and now the expression reads 5x minus 15 minus 20x plus 10, which is equivalent to the original expression. C, five times x and five times a negative three or five times x minus five times three. We can rewrite this as five x minus 15 and we have five times a negative four x, that's a negative 20 x and five times positive two, that's a positive 10. This expression is also equivalent to the original expression. D, negative five times a negative x, that's a positive five x. Negative five times a positive three, that's a negative 15. Negative five times a positive four X, that's a negative 20 X. Negative five times a negative two, that's a positive 10. This expression is also equivalent to the original expression. E, let's combine like terms of the original expression and see what we get. Five X minus 20 X, that's negative 15 X. And negative 15 plus 10, that's the same as 10 minus 15, which is negative five. This expression is equivalent to negative 15 X minus five. So this expression is equivalent to the original expression. F, negative five times three X, that's a negative 15 X, and negative five times a positive one, that's a negative five. So this expression is negative 15 X minus five which is equivalent to the expression from E, which was equivalent to the original expression. Problem number four from seventh grade unit six, lesson 14. The school marching band has a budget of up to $750 to cover 15 new uniforms and competition fees that total $300. How much can they spend for one uniform? A, write an inequality to represent this situation. 
15 new uniforms and let X represent the price for each uniform plus $300 for the competition fees. This total amount has to be less than or equal to $750. This expression represents this situation. B. Solve the inequality and describe what it means in the situation. To get X by itself, we need to subtract 300 from both sides of the inequality symbol. Now we're left with 15X is less than or equal to 450. Now we need to divide both sides by 15. Now the inequality reads X is less than or equal to 30. This means that they can spend at most $30 per uniform. Problem 5 from 7th grade Unit 6 Lesson 16. Solve the inequality that represents each story, then interpret what the solution means in the story. A. For every $9 that Elena earns, she gives X dollars to charity. Elena wants to be sure she keeps at least $42 from this month's earnings. We'll put the 7 on the outside, which represents how many times this happened. And we have 7 times the $9 that she earned, minus 7 times X, the amount of money that she gives to charity each of the seven times that she earned nine dollars we need to subtract 63 from both sides of the inequality sign so we're left with negative 7x is greater than or equal to negative 21 divide both sides by negative 7 and flip the inequality sign and x is less than or equal to 3 that means that elena can give three dollars or less for every nine dollars she earns 5b. Lynn buys a candle that is 9 inches tall and burns down x inches per minute. She wants to let the candle burn for 7 minutes until it is less than 6 inches tall. The inequality they gave us is 9 minus 7x is less than 6. First we need to subtract 9 from both sides, then divide both sides by negative 7 and switch the inequality sign. The inequality now reads as x is greater than 3 sevenths. This means that the candle needs to burn down more than three-sevenths of an inch each minute. Problem number six. From seventh grade, unit four, lesson three. A certain shade of blue paint is made by mixing one and a half quarts of blue paint with five quarts of white paint. If you need a total of 16.25 gallons of this shade of blue paint, how much of each color should you mix? 1.5 plus five is 6.5, which is the total amount of paint for the main recipe. 6.5 goes into 16.25 exactly 2.5 times. 5 times 2.5 is 12.5, and 1.5 times 2.5 is 3.75. So you'll need 12.5 gallons of white paint and 3.75 gallons of blue paint. Subscribe to my channel and watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.